And now to the developing case surrounding State Senator Leland Yee. Only 30 hours after his indictment on federal corruption and gun trafficking charges, Yee has been dealing with a lot of fallout. Not only did he renounce his candidacy for Secretary of State today, tomorrow he will find out whether he will be suspended as a state senator. Quanfor's Jeff Bush is live outside Leland Yee's house tonight in San Francisco. Jeff, what's the latest? Well, Catherine, the senator's problems keep getting bigger and bigger as the days go by. Yesterday, he lost his passport as a condition of his release. He hasn't left his house all day long, so in effect, he's lost a great deal of his freedom. And tomorrow, he will most likely be stripped of all of his political power. This indictment is sickening. As such, <clears throat> consistent with uh, the actions we have taken in other situations, I want to, on behalf of my colleagues today, call on Senator Yee to resign. Leave. Don't burden your colleagues and this great institution with your trouble. Leave. State Senate leader Daryl Steinberg called for Yee to resign. U.S. Senators Barbara Boxer and Dianne Feinstein called for Yee to resign. And Mark Leno called for Yee to resign or else. The president pro tem of the Senate has already announced that we will be voting on the floor tomorrow to suspend him. So Leland Yee will not be on the floor of the Senate ever again. Ye will never hold public office again either. The disgraced senator had ambitions of becoming California's next Secretary of State, but the scandal has been too much, and Ye withdrew his candidacy for that office on Thursday. Dear Deborah, I hereby withdraw my candidacy for election of Secretary of State, effective immediately. With best regards, signed Leland Ye, State Senator. Senator Yee has definitely fallen a great distance in a very short amount of time. I'm Jeff Bush reporting live in San Francisco, Cron 4 News.